Hey guys, I'm Jason Goldfinger with Imagine Time here to show you a quick glimpse into our brand new file sharing and e-signature platform. Accounts are required to securely send client documents, but the technology created for that purpose is generally subpar. Secure file sharing tools haven't made it easy for clients to use the system, resulting in low adoption rates and frustrating scenarios. There are plenty of clients that have stayed with paper-based methods because they don't want to deal with the technology available to them. A lot of your clients are not tech savvy and don't want to use a complicated client portal to access their documents a couple of times a year. If you send a password protected PDF, they don't read the email telling them what the password is or they open it too late and the document has already expired. The last thing you want in the middle of tax season is your client sidetracking you with a 10 minute phone call because they can't open their 1040. These files often end up going through email without any security on them whatsoever. Even if your client agrees to the risks of this scenario, it is still illegal to do. Then, once everything is completed and you need them to sign their 8879, they either have to come into the office or they have to print, sign, and send it back, in which case they'll need a scanner or a fax machine. We created this file sharing platform to solve these issues so that you and your clients can send files securely. So now that we've talked about why we created this solution, I want to show you guys how this actually works. So let's say that Tom Hanks is our client and we're going to do something simple like send him his 1040. Now I'm using Outlook here. Uh, it can get into this, this email a few different ways. Uh, you'll actually be able to send files directly from your tax software into Outlook or to the client directly. I'll show you that a little later. But let's say you're in Outlook and you just have to send your client their tax return you're gonna have a few new buttons inside of your uh, ribbon here. So you'll see I have the Imagine Time logo a few times. You guys only have one, but whenever you click on that, you'll have a few different options. So in this case, I'm gonna click Send Files. And to get a file in here, it's just like a regular attach file uh, option. You can drag and drop, or you can click to upload. So I'll click on here and add in his 1040. Click Next. Now, before I send it out to the client, I have a few different options of how they can access it. You can send it as an open link, uh, just so they can click on it and open it right up. That's a good idea if you're talking to the client and you're on the phone with them and they're ready for the file. But if they are not sitting at their computer and you wanna make sure that it's secured when this is sent, you can use the secret question option. Either option will be sent with 256-bit encryption, but this secondary option adds a little bit more security to it. And the way we do this without requiring a username and password is by asking the client to validate themselves in a specific but easy way. So you can ask them to type in the last four numbers of their social or the last four numbers of their phone number or their zip code, or you can create your own as well. I'll do the phone number option here and just say that Tom Hanks phone number ends in one, two, three, four. When I create that link, it won't add the file as a regular attachment. It's going to add it as an encrypted link. So this is not a full file going through public email servers anymore. We're basically taking that file, cutting it into a billion different pieces and sending it through a private server. Because we are sending it as a link, you also have the added benefit of being able to send really large files. So instead of that QuickBooks file being caught up or bounced back, you'll be able to send multiple QuickBooks files through email now. So you click send, and that's it, you're done. So when the client receives it on their end, this is what it will look like. They get it from your email, your name, they click download attachments, and it will bring them to their secret question. And it's asking me, type in the last four numbers of your phone number. So if I type in the wrong numbers and click continue, it's going to tell me it's wrong. But if I type in the right answer and click continue, it will give me my 1040 just like that. I don't have to create an account as the client. The accountant does not need to create the uh, account for the client and they can send it just like I showed you and they can download it or preview it from here. So that's on the sending side, but let's say that you need to receive a file from a client. So let's say from Tom Hanks, we need his W-2. And I'll say, please send to me when you can. Hit that same button, and the other option we had was request files. So whenever I click on that and create the link, it will automatically add to the email, click here to upload files. 
So you can send this out to the client. They receive an email saying, hey, I need your W-2, click here to do it. They click on that link and it will bring them directly to this screen where they can upload a file to you without having to create an account, without having to type in a username and password, but they have 256-bit encryption and they can send really large files as well. But in this case, I sent the client an email saying, hey, I need this file from you, click here to do it. We want clients to be able to initiate themselves so that they don't have to wait for you to send them a link and you don't wanna to have to do this 700 times. So what you can do is take that request to file link and just embed it into your signatures or at the bottom of your emails so that clients can go to any email correspondence you've ever had with them, click on this link and send you a file. Other ways they can access their files is through a client portal. Now, a lot of you guys probably already have a client portal. This will operate in a similar way. You do have unlimited storage. You can create an unlimited amount of clients. We're not going to punish you guys for growth. But whenever your client logs in, and you can see we've got uh, some pretty good clients here. So whenever Bradley Cooper logs in and he sees his name, he can click on his files and there will be his files waiting for him. So we can download these files. If he wants to upload files, he can do that. We'll get a notification that he has uploaded files to us and he'll get email notifications whenever we upload files to him. Now, let's say that you are in your tax software and you want to be able to send a file over to a client or you want to put it into the portal or you want to send it for signature. I'm using Microsoft Word here, but this will just represent your tax software so you can see how this works. Uh, whether you're using UltraTax or Drake or CCH, Pro Series, Lacert, it's irrelevant. Inside of all of those programs or any program that you can print from, including your DMS system, you can click File, Print, and you'll now have Imagine Time Secure Print as one of your options. So when you click Print, it will automatically bring up the ability to do all of those things we talked about. So you can upload that file and then view it in the portal. You can upload more files. You can share the file that, you're, uh, that you just printed, or you can request a signature. So if you share the file, you can do the same thing we showed you out of the Outlook plugin. If you're going to send it and request a signature, you can do that as well, if it's an 8879 or something similar. So let me show you when the client receives that e-signature request. They click on Review and Sign. It asks them to type in their email address that you send it to. And then they go through the e-signature process. Now, this is going to be a lot more efficient than the way they currently need to sign documents. They can be doing this on their computer or on their phone. It works no matter where they are. So they have to agree, agree to the terms and conditions in order to make this legally binding. Then, if, since I'm on a computer, I can sign with my mouse or my keyboard. Uh, if, they, if I wanted to type it out, I could choose that option. If I was on my phone, I would just use my finger or a stylus. Instead, I'll do the mouse and show you guys my beautiful signature. Adopt that signature. I can read through the document to make sure I agree with everything. Apply it. And then all I need to do is type in today's date. Click continue. Finish it. And then from there on, everything is done for me. You get a signed copy of it. The client gets a signed copy of it. And if they haven't signed this document, they're going to get automatic reminders saying, hey, we need this document signed. Please get it back to your accountant. So hopefully you guys saw the value of what this new solution can bring to you. And you want to have something in place before the tax season push. So if you guys are interested in giving this a shot, please send me an email at jgoldfinger at imaginetime.net or call into the sales line. And we'll be happy to do a one-on-one -on -one demonstration so we can show you guys how this will work for you.